Hey everybody, it's John Baker for Timeline Enterprises, and this is a history short. Um, first of all, Timeline Enterprises is a non-political um, uh, organization. We try not to be political, try not to state anything about uh, today's politics and, and uh, things like that. So today's little discussion real quick is about Independence Day and what it's supposed to be. And I know I'm a little late in getting this up, but you know, everybody knows July 4th is when the United States, the colonies, the 13 original states as, as they would come to be, declared their independence from, from the government of Great Britain. So we call it Independence Day. But for many in Britain and the United Kingdom, it's Traitor's Day because of our Declaration of Independence and they're saying that we were traitors because of that. Well, that is true. Both sides is true. But July 4, ever since it became a national holiday to recognize our Independence Day, it's been a day <clears throat> to remember how we came to be. And here it is in 2020, the nation is being ripped apart by things such as Antifa, and Black Lives Matter, and, and uh, accusations for the Democrat Party, accusations for the Republican Party, um, all sorts of things going on to tear this nation apart. Slavery being tossed around willy-nilly, uh, tearing down statues of Confederates, tearing down statues of Col uh, Christopher Columbus. Uh, we need to stop. Those types of things are going to totally erase our history. We have a history that's good. We have a history that's bad, but it's our history. It's our nation. And if we tear down things because just because we say it's racist, well, no, it's not racist. It's historic. Not a good history, not a bad history, depending on what it is. But to destroy it is to destroy our past, to destroy our memories, to destroy our nation. Do I condone slavery? No. Unfortunately, it was something that helped and was necessary at the time to bring us to where we were at a na as a nation at that time. Many of the things that we, we forget about is that we left a monarchy, one ruler making all the rules for everybody, to form a nation that would be responsive of everybody in the nation, a democratic republic, where we as individuals choose people to represent us in government to make changes, to do things that we have sent them there to do. We are a nation that has checks and bounces, balances, so that one branch can't do more than somebody else. But because of that, we also have a way of making change. Revolution itself is sometimes necessary, understandable, but people that are calling for revolution now, I don't know that they truly be believe in revolution. They want revolutionary change, maybe, but that's not what's going on. We're tearing ourselves apart and we are dealing with losing the purpose of Independence Day. It should be a time to bring us all together, a time to remember what, what makes us the United States, the checks and the balances, the problems that we've had and how we've adjusted to them. Are we constantly evolving? Yes, we are, we do. That's part of our history. 
we have adapted to problems in the past, overcome them, and become a better place. We need to do that again. We need to continually do that. But we need to remember our past. Because if we forget our past, if we do not remember and learn from the past, we are doomed to repeat it. And we are in a process of repeating it now and again and again. But what I want us to remember for is, is Independence Day is what brought us to being the greatest nation we are now with the checks and balances and able to make our changes in proper ways. And uh, that's what we need to do. We need to, to make sure we're doing it in a proper way. Thank you guys. I will have more later. Again, you know, this is Independence Day, July 4, 2020, or in the minds of some uh, in the United Kingdom. Trader's Day, July 4, 2020. Um, hope you guys take some, some time and, and think about uh, what Independence Day is and what it has meant and where we are. Uh, I know, again, like I said, timeline is not a political thing. I know there were a lot of politics thrown out there right now. Um, but it's something that we need to deal with and something that had to be brought forward. And uh, if people want to drop me a line, I'm more than happy to discuss other things that, that uh, were brought up in this video in, in depth. Um, so again, this is a history short. It's not the shortest short, but it is a history short. And I hope you uh, watch and, and take consideration of what was, was stated here. Uh, think about it, and uh, we'll see you all down the road, I hope, and next time we'll have something more for History Shorts.